think you can pull a fast one on us? It was all just a misunderstanding! Hey! Let him go. That! We cannot do. This thing sold us a priceless relic. The key we have been searching for. Except, of course, it's fake! I thought it was the real deal, Ravis. Honest. Oh. I believe you. But mistakes like these cannot be tolerated. Let this be a reminder of what happens when you cross the Bedlam Raiders! Kill him. Oh no! No! Enough! Walk away. Jedi. <laughs> Take you. This is him, Doma. This is the one who stood up to the Bedlam Raiders. All right, that that's enough, Turgo. Turgo, get over here. Yes. You're Doma. Well, yes, I am. You got a name? Jedi. I'm Cal. This is BD1. We'd, uh, appreciate if you kept this quiet. Hmm. Well, out here on the frontier, only way we survive is by sticking together. That's right. You didn't have to step in just now, but you did. Yes, you did. Turgle, <laughs> shut it. <laughs> we'll keep your secret safe. Cal, I'm sure we could both benefit from it. Thanks. Oh, Cal, I can't tell you enough how grateful I am you saved me. Anytime. And those moves! Incredible! Where did you learn to do that? I thought we agreed not to talk about that. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. But do you think you could teach me a few tricks sometime? I really don't want you to hurt yourself. But Doma says that's what I'm best at. Hiya. Remember to swing by my shop later. Will do. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You can't uh... borrow a Turgle. Ah. Hi, Cal. Cal, I gotta confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. So I was thinking, you head there and check things out and we split whatever you find 50-50. We'll see, Turgle. Cal, look at this saloon. Monk's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Rooftop garden, huh? That's right. What are you waiting for? It's just up the stairs. Go check it out. I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you. But I can't. So I'm glad you're around. So, Ziggy... Don't call me that. You ever find... The one? Nah. I'm on the new things, Turgle. Oh, come on now. If you're a lover, like myself, you don't just move on. You're on the hunt. The prowl. Cool down, Turgle. If the right someone came along, I'd be open to it. Maybe. Uh-huh. I bet you would, killer. Cal, I've got a question for an accomplished warrior like yourself. Say your enemies are closing in fast, with blasters drawn and murder in their eyes. 
Uh, okay. What do you do? I focus on the moment and trust my training. Overthinking what will happen can make you freeze up. Yeah, that makes sense. But the most important thing is to know what you're fighting for. My life? And that's a start. Welcome to Kobo. Cal! Cal, so glad you're back! You missed all the action! It was horrible! Did something happen? The Raiders paid us another visit. Took a shine to that droid you fanned. See? They took her, Cal! Carried her right out! She's been droid-napped! My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us. I'm innocent, Mr. Grease! Promise! Turgle, what'll it take to stop your caterwauling? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sad, Monk. What do you recommend? Sunshine and exercise. A drink, Monk. I need a drink. Are you sure? I think we both remember what happened the last time I served you. I started trading with the Bedlam Raiders. Oh, drinking's brought me nothing but misery. That it has. But keep it to yourself, will ya? I got a cantina to run. Monk, I could really use a drink. In just a moment longer, and I'll be by when I can. Say, Cal, would you like to buy my guide to Kobo? Not really. Good, because I haven't written it yet. But if you want to know something, I have all sorts of tips for Kobo visitors. Like what? Give information out for free? Come on, Cal. A frog's got to make a living. Hiya. Later, BD. Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think so. With the Empire here, thought I'd have a chance to turn a credit. Try selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Turns out very smart. He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, and threw me in a watering hole. Still getting into trouble, Turgle? Not exactly. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. You ever think about taking trips off-world, Turgle? Maybe. But I'd keep my home base here, of course. But I imagine owning multiple luxury homes across the galaxy, as my fame and fortune grow. I hear the lakes on Naboo are beautiful this time of year. And Diego's got a thousand moons. A thousand! That's so many! Hiya! Seems like you and Doma have some history. That's right. She took me in, showed me around, hid me, cause I was on the run, Cal. On the run, huh? What'd you do? The heist of the century. Every bounty hunter in the galaxy was after me. You pulled off a heist? Is that so hard to believe? Well, yeah. And that's how I pulled it off. No one thinks much of me around here, so they never see me coming. So you said you came here after a heist, huh? That's right. I was once the most infamous outlaw in the Outer Rim. Really? Oh, yeah. They called me the Prince of Pilfering, the Mayor of Misdemeanors, the Sultan of Stealth. If you're so notorious, how'd you get here undetected? I snuck into a shipping crate and lived in a aforementioned crate for a long time. A very long time. When Doma unpacked me, she thought I was trash. Good thing she didn't throw you out. Oh, but she did. We still laugh about it. There aren't any Zabrak hanging out in the outpost, right? Not that I've seen. Oh, thank goodness. Thought I was gonna have to book it for a second there. Are there people out to hurt you? Only always. But I owe these Zabrak quite a few credits for a... an incident I was involved in. You get into a lot of trouble, don't you? The less you know, the better. Trust me. I can always run, start a new life. No, Turgle, not again. Cal, the Empire set its sights on Kobo, and everyone's jumping planet. Now, it's not my nature to stick my nose in other people's business. Uh, but, but are you leaving too? For now, you're gonna be all right? Better than all right. I've got a plan. This might surprise you, but I've been pushed around my whole life. No one ever took me seriously, and I can use that to my advantage. And just when the Empire lets its guard down, that's when I strike. 
We've all got to fight the Empire however we can. That's right. I'm a Kobo local and proud of it. This is my home, and I'm gonna defend it. How'd you get mixed up with the Bedlam Raiders? Well, well, I had a drink from Muck. Then another, then another, then another, then... Correct. Right. I stumbled outside and sort of confused one of the big raiders with a dewback. Don't tell me you try to mount him. Okay. But if I don't, that's the end of the story. I can see why the raiders try to kill you. Oh, they've got plenty of reasons.